It is time for the College Rush. Today we have a six-pack for College Rush, something I don't have anymore. <laughs> uh, but all right, let's get into it. I have we, a keg. Yeah, I mean, hey, we, we're, we're, we're keg guys now. Yeah. Small keg, large. We have them all here. Uh, I got a six-pack for you, though. Uh, a lot of these are ranked, so I'm going to start off. First off, Notre Dame sitting at Clemson, laying three. Uh, Clemson being a home underdog this yeah. time. So on paper, or sorry, at first glance, mm. you would be like, oh, Irish. They, they should, Clemson's been just I mean, they lost to NC yep. State. They've been a, you know, and then Dabo goes ballistic on a, I don't know if it was a student reporter on his radio show this week or what it was, but uh, I actually didn't have a huge issue with it, but it got traction, right. understandably so. Dabo defended his salary and his track record and what they've done and where the bar is set out there in, in, in Clemson. I, I would lean to the home dog here. I know a lot of sharps I know love Clemson plus three here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I trust the coach of Notre Dame. I just can't bet Clemson plus three. They've been so inefficient with their offense, and the defense has been good at times. They've gone under like a bunch of games, so I would look to the under, but I just can't really step up to the counter and fire on the Tigers, even though I'm getting plus three at home. I just don't want to lay three points on the road with Notre Dame at Clemson, and like Clemson's a great spot to back them, so it's – it's Clemson or Pats. It's a lean to Clemson here. I like it. All right, next up, I uh, have a little PTSD on this one. Uh, number 23, Kansas State against number seven, Texas. Texas is laying four here. Uh, what do we think now? That's yeah, going to be a fun season. You got Texas and Cowboys. I mean, we got a lot going on here. So I'm going to, I like Kansas State in the points. I think they're really well coached. I love everything about that team. They, they laid an egg on, on a couple Fridays ago at Okie State. They were laying double digits in Stillwater and they were horrible. They had the wrong two point decision. Uh, for the PAT, they had fourth down decisions that just didn't made no sense. But outside of that, they were strong. Obviously, Texas is down their starting quarterback. I just wonder if Texas is like a machine right now and sort of peaking. So I, I leaned it's case like in pick'em leagues, I'm on case day. Quarterback issue is going to be fun to check out. Next up, number 12, Missouri at number two, Georgia. Georgia is laying 15 and a half. It's weird to say number two, Georgia. Haven't right. said that in a while. Right. right. Well said. I'm going to lay it with Georgia here. Last year, Missouri had him on the ropes in Como. Live line, Mizzou was favored. I think that has Georgia's attention. I think they open up a can in this one. I think the I think they're going to score a lot of points here. I think Mizzou will give up points. Mm -hmm. I think when they're when it, that quarterback has protection, which may or may not happen in this matchup, but when he has protection, he can he can score points here. So I, I'm leaning to the over, but I, I think I think I think Georgia, I'd lay the points with Georgia. All right, all right. Next one is always a fun one to watch for me. Oklahoma, number nine, laying six to number 22, Oklahoma State. This obviously is going to be the final bedlam before OU is headed over to the SEC with yeah. Texas. So this is obviously, I'm, I'm expecting fireworks, but we'll see. Well, we saw them last week with OU against Kansas. And I think because of that and sort of how demoralizing that game was, I'm not, I'm not certain we get the best OU performance in this game. I know it's a rivalry game and it should. But the Pokes are sort of peaking at the right time. Gundy, everyone was calling for his job, which happens, and he's he's been waxed in this rivalry, which gives me pause. But I think I like Okie State here, plus the six. I, I think that's the right side against this OU defense. Now, it should be a track meet. Over's probably the play as well. But I think Okie State plus the six is the right is the right is the right play, especially at home in Stillwater. I like it. I like it. Next up, number five, Washington. They're gonna be laying three at number twenty, USC. All right, this might be a pros versus Joes game. I know all these pros are on the home dog here. I believe there was some three and a half as well. Mm -hmm. Money came in on the Trojans. Lincoln Riley, home underdog at, at, at USC what we did with the reigning Heisman Trophy winner. I actually lean to Washington here, but okay. that's because I'm expecting Washington to sort of come back to what we've seen. They've been sort of trailing off the last couple of weeks. Obviously, had the nail biter against ASU the week after beating Oregon. I'm just a little uneasy. Last week, all the Sharps were on Utah mm -hmm. at home against Oregon. I was like, be careful there. I would say be careful on USC. Their defense right. is that bad. The Huskies should be able to name the score. I just think it, that Washington is sort of losing this. They are tailing off. I wonder if they're going to make it to the finish line here. This will be a big game. It'll be a big game. Last week, we got number 14, LSU, and a weird one again, number eight, Alabama. Alabama's laying three. Number eight, Alabama. Awesome game. And I've been to, I've been to these. I've been mm -hmm. to one in LSU and Bama. It, it should be a shootout. The over-under is really high, but I still like the over in this game. 
I don't think much of LSU's defense. I think they waste possessions on offense as well because Jaden Daniels is such a playmaker with his legs. I think he extends plays, which is great when it works. But when it doesn't, you can be second and five and then third and 12 because of that. I think that catches up with him. I think Saban's going to have this diagram, even though Daniels is a Heisman candidate and can escape. He's an escape artist. I love the way the Bama offense is coming along this time mm-hmm. of year. I would, I would take Bama and the over. All right, Bama and the over to wrap it up. That is the six-pack from uh, two kegs like us. <laughs> that right there is a college rush.